For us humans, nighttime is for sleeping. But your average monster would far rather be off on some sort of mission impossible. Most of these turn out to actually be impossible. The others are just really bad ideas. But it's pointless telling that to a monster, because they never change and they never learn. As Fiend always says, he doesn't believe in bad ideas. He only believes in Fiend. <laughs> Remember the plan. Go straight in. Rescue the tiny citizens of Snowglobia and come straight out. I want this thing to go as smooth as sandpaper. Is sandpaper smooth? It is on the back. Now, let's move. Uh -huh. What's the problem? Do you think this is a good idea? I mean, I don't want to get into trouble. Of course it's a good idea. It was one of mine. Besides, we can't leave the tiny people of Snowglobia in the evil clutches of Angela. She's a tyrant. I've seen her shaking them vigorously on many occasions. <gasps> exactly. So come on, let's do this. No, I, I can't see anything. I guess I think I have my hand on your butt. I don't think so. I must have. It's all dry and pimply and cold and sort of... <laughs> Whoops. Go, 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 go. <laughs> That's weird. I remember the hallway being much larger than this. I guess! <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? I don't mind as many as you like. Just stay out of my room! Just stay out of my room! <laughs> Would you help if I said? No! Sorry! Morning. Sleep well. Shut up. Angela! Oh, well, I was woken up at 2 a.m. by Fiend with his finger up my nose. <laughs> Fiend? It sounded like you were shouting at Haggis. Yeah, well, he's easier to catch. What? That's not fair. You can't blame Haggis for something Fiend's done. Well, then he shouldn't take it. He only takes it because he doesn't like to argue. Is he a man or a mouse? Duh, he's a monster. <laughs> well, then he should act like one. You know what Haggis's problem is? The smell. Sure, but he lacks something else what we in the business world call assertiveness. What's that? It's the art of standing up for yourself without arguing. Getting your point across without raising your voice. Assertiveness teaches us we don't have to do anything just because someone tells us. You're taking Eddie to school. Ready up. I'll tell you more in the car. Actually, I think I've got a book art somewhere. Right, listen up. This is a book about assertiveness. It will teach you how to stand up for yourself. Wouldn't you like that, Haggis? I don't know. Aren't I OK as I am? Not really. And I can prove it to you. Fiend, would you be so kind as to fart for me? That is so weird. I was just about to. <laughs> Haggis. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Haggis. Uh, sorry again. <laughs> Pardon me. Stop apologising. Sorry. Don't you see? You're letting us bully you, just like Angela did. <gasps> you have to learn how to stand up for yourself. <sighs> and this book can teach you how. Eddie! OK. Just try a few of the exercises. What? We have to exercise now? <laughs> oh, haggis! <laughs> Sorry. I meant just follow some of the instructions in the book. Oh, right. <laughs> OK, Eddie. Okay, Haggis, it's just like let's pretend. I pretend to be a shopkeeper and you pretend to be a customer. But why? So you can learn how to be a skirtive. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> right then, let's do this. <clears throat> Excuse me, 
I bought this from you last... I don't care. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yes, it's, it's, I'm sorry to have wasted your time. Mm. OK, OK, let's try that again. <sighs> Excuse me, I bought this... I'm on my lunch break. Take your time, I can come back tomorrow. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <sighs> excuse me, I brought this. Listen, pal, when are you going to get it into that big furry head of yours? I don't care. <laughs> well, I think you should care. What? The way I see it is, if my bread burners stop turning the bread brown, then it's got a problem. And as I bought it from your shop, it must be your problem. So, I think you should care. Norm, I think we've got our breakthrough. <laughs> Way to go, Haggis. You're not a mouse anymore. You're a monster. <laughs> 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 Ah, thank you. How'd they get on? Apparently he's sort of got it, but you know, Haggis. I doubt we see much of a difference. Morning, human thingies! Haggis, that was Ooh. mine. And you can use these things over and over again, <laughs> unless they're broken, and then you take them back to the shop. <laughs> I know that now. <laughs> Hey, what you doing? Cracking eggs for an omelette. Let me help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we... Out of the way, you giant furball. Uh, I don't think you should call me a giant furball. I mean, I know I am giant and furry and shaped like a ball, but uh, I can't help that, can I? <laughs> That's like me calling you, um, pale, messy haired spot girl. <laughs> and I'd never do that, would I? <laughs> you ready? I've got something for you. <laughs> What's that? It's your school book. I ate your homework. <laughs> it's the perfect excuse. Hey, hey. But I already done my homework. Yeah, I sure you did. <laughs> he seems. Yeah. Oh, the little box is singing. Um, should I? Uh... Oh. Oh. Hey, come on, Haggis. <laughs> Be a monster. Not a mouse. <laughs> Hello? Nick. No, Nick's gone out. Um, he's off being busy. Ah, well, that's what I like to hear. Are you trapped in the little box? It sure seems like that some days. Not even time for lunch. Hmm, how about you? Managed to get out today. Oh, I never managed to get out. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can you pass on a message to Nick for me? Uh, well, if you don't mind me getting bits wrong... <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I spoke to Charlie at the chocolate company about the ad campaign, and he's not keen on the name Nick came up with for his new product. Tell him they don't like Massive Softy. No one likes a Massive Softy. <laughs> they like a real monster. Real monster. Real monster bar. Oh, it's perfect! Eddie, you'll be late for school! Mum, something's wrong with Fiend. More wrong than normal? Yeah, something's up. He keeps talking in questions and he seems really confused. He's just not right. Could you keep an eye on him? Please. Fine, I'll keep an eye on him. Thanks for the best mum I've ever had. I know all about sleepless nights. I've got a couple of little monsters myself. <laughs> oh, hi, Nick. <laughs> Nick's back. Do you still want to work with him? Who are you talking to? It's Jeff. Um, he seems to think he's your boss. Hi, Jeff. Hi. I, I can explain. Me? I'm fine. Or am I? 
Uh, don't ask me. Ask someone else. Or don't. I don't mind. Or do I? Uh, I see what you mean. He doesn't seem to be himself. What normally cheers him up? Well, sure, let's try that then. Oh, that! Oh, great! Bogey ball! But do I pass the ball or keep it? Yeah, no, of course, Jeff, yeah. Okay, I understand. All right, bye. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it seems that Jeff seems to think that this Haggis kid's a real go-getter. Oh, his name's like my name. He means you, you big tangle! <laughs> he just loves your idea for this chocolate bar, yeah? He wants me to spend a day with you working up an ad campaign. <gasps> Yay, go me! Yeah, well, it's never gonna happen. You may have Jeff wrapped around your massive little finger, but there is no way the managing director of Europe's largest chocolate company is gonna fall for your hair-brained ideas. Hello. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Bye. He loved it. <laughs> Too soon. Then there's the pass itself. Should I play a short ball or a long ball or a curve ball? Uh, should I eat the ball or take it to a ball? Can you take a ball to a ball? <laughs> no better then. It's like he's lost the ability to make even the most basic decisions. What, like when you send Dad food shopping? Worse. How could he be worse? <laughs> hey, should I be breathing in or breathing out? For the hundredth time, it's both one after the other. <laughs> and it doesn't matter which one first. Oh, gotcha. Thanks. <laughs> okay, he's worse. I'm helping. You know what, Haggis, why don't you knock off early this afternoon? You know, you have helped enough. No, no, I'll stay. Right. It's just that. Uh, look, I really appreciate all the help you've given me on the campaign, but I, uh, I have to go through some advert ideas with Jeff in about half an hour, and, and um, it's a video call, which means you can't be here, yeah? What with you being a seven-foot monster. <laughs> um, no, uh, no, I don't think so. Excuse me? No, don't get me wrong, you're a hard worker. But I just don't think you've got what it takes to really sell our ideas to Mr. Jeff. <laughs> I don't think you are a skirtiff enough. So, maybe you would like to go home early and leave the talking to me. There's a good human thingy. Look, mister, I don't know who you think you are. I am Huggis, and I am a monster, not a mouse. And if you don't like that, maybe you should go and find somewhere else to work. Because Mr. Jeff, he likes me just the way I am. Hey, hey, come and get this ugly rug out of my study. You're early. That's no, I'm not. Sort of a service training you've been giving him, but he thinks he's got the best ideas on the planet. He won't listen to a word I say, and now he wants to make all the big decisions. I mean, honestly, he is as bad as him. Tomato, 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 tomato. <laughs> it is. Oh, like this wasn't confusing enough. That's it. The problem's not fiend. It's haggis. Think about it. If Haggis starts making all the decisions and thinking of all the ideas, then what happens to Fint? Hello? Is anybody there? That's what happens to Fint. OK, fine, but my problem is, Haggis, can you please go and get him out of my study like now? I've got a really important video call at 5 p.m. Um, it is 5. What? Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh! <laughs> You've got a plan to put all this right. 
the pains. Have you got any really old chips? <laughs> oh, definitely. Monsters love chocolate. <laughs> hey, guys! What have you done? Well, I answered the call, and then he screamed, and then I told him I was a monster. And then... Ooh, oh, no! That's him! Huh? I'll get it. No! 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 Just... Stay there! Hi, Jeff. Yeah. Just... A webcam's getting a bit of interference. Nick? I loved it! Best special effect I've ever seen! And Haggis as a voice was perfect! Bold and confident. A real monster! Great job, Nick! Uh... Uh... Thank you. In fact, I've got Charlie from the chocolate company coming here for a meeting in a few minutes. <laughs> we'll do another video chat then. And you can show him what you've just shown me. And if he loves it half as much as I do, someone's in line for a big promotion. Ah, uh, okay. Great. <laughs> we'll get to it then. See you in five. I guess. You're the best! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> no! Not what I expected. Uh, the monster stays. Because you are my furry ticket to the top! <laughs> if you say so. But do you need him this second, though? I was going to make some milkshakes. Milkshakes? Yeah, yeah, go, go, go get a milkshake. Milkshake, uh, burger, keys to the car, whatever he wants. Just make sure he's back here in five. <laughs> that furball is going to make my career. <laughs> so, what flavour would you like? Oh, chocolate, every time. And I'll make one for Fiend. <laughs> what flavour would he like? All shoe. It's his favourite. <laughs> but, but you know that. <laughs> well, I thought I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, strawberry! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Butterscotch! <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, chocolate! Uh, oh, no. Eddie, you've used all the milk again. Uh, oh, Old Shoe! Fiend, what are you doing? There is Old Shoe flavour right in front of you. You love Old Shoe flavour. Then there's always tomato. Or, uh, I mean, banana. Um, can I phone a friend? Or actually, could you phone a friend for me? I couldn't decide who to call. Uh, what's up with him? Yeah, he's acting really weird and not in the good way. <laughs> we should do something. <laughs> what should we do? Well, you're the big ideas monster, so why don't you tell us? Right, well, uh, we should, um... We should we, what? We, we, we should... What? It's Come all, on. We are the if we... Tell we us. Should, uh, we, I don't know, OK? You <sighs> don't know? Doesn't sound very assertive to me. I don't want to be assertive anymore, and I don't have any ideas. At least not good ones, and, and not on purpose. I just can't be the haggis you want me to be. Oh, haggis, Eddie, get over here. Oh, Haggis, I didn't want to change you. I just didn't want you to get pushed around. Then maybe you should talk to the people doing the pushing. Look, I'm sorry, Haggis. It's not fair for me to always blame you. You're my favourite monster. That is such a weird sentence. So, can I go back to being me? Yes. Of course you can. And can Fiend... Go back to being fiend? Well, that's what we want, but if you're all out of ideas, then how do we fix him? You know, whenever I need an idea, do you know who I ask? <laughs> fiend? What can I do to make you better? You mean, you don't know? <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> you were always best at decisions. Well, I suppose that's true. Let me think for a minute. Pass me that milkshake, the one with the shoe in it. It's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite! <laughs> <laughs> I'm cured! The Fiendmeister General is back, and he's never felt better! <laughs> Try 
to be ready next time. <laughs> right, break time's over, big guy. We have got a date with Mr. Chocolate. Well, I hope it's not a hot date. He'll melt! <laughs> back to their old stuff. Come on, I guess let's go. Hey, listen, um, I think we might have to have a little talk. Yeah, yeah, we can talk after, yeah? You're on in 30 seconds. <laughs> Take a seat, Charlie, and I hope your laces are tied up tight because this is going to blow your socks off. Ready when you are, Nick? And now, thanks to the very latest in special effects technology, I present to you, very proudly, the face of the real Monster Bar! I'm shy. Can I go? What, what are you doing? Be, be assertive. No, I mean assertive. I don't like the way that man's looking at me. It makes me go all red. I mean, you can't see it through all my fur, but I know. You call that a monster? <sighs> oh, I should go. No, Harris, what are you doing? Come, Harris! What's going on there, Nick? What happened to the character you showed me earlier? You've turned him into some sort of bashful Barbara. Boring is what I'd call it. Oh, you ruined it, Nick. We wanted a confident, fast-talking monster, one who takes no prisoners and says what he thinks. Wait one second. <laughs> Hi there, chocolate lovers. I hear you're looking for a monster with a little more bite. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing it. So, go get a real monster bar today. It's chocolate with more bite. <laughs> ah, like anyone would listen to that joker. <laughs> Talk about big headed. <laughs> so, it seemed like the monsters were back to their normal selves. Well, as normal as they ever were. But then I always knew they'd never change. <laughs> um, hi. I was wondering... Would it be possible to borrow the kingdom of Snowglobia for the purpose of liberating its peoples and whatnot? Uh, what? There, knock yourself out. <laughs> well, what do you know? Once in a while, they do seem to learn a thing or two. Told you! Meh. Fiend, for example has learned to listen to Haggis just a little more often. But, Norman! sadly, catch! Norman still hasn't learned how to catch. Well, you're free now. <laughs> <laughs>